Bye for the magpie! Welcome to a guitar video! <laughs> Murphy? That's a Murphy? <laughs> so this is a guitar uh, with a springy springy neck that I recently did this because I thought that was a great idea and it was kind of a funny idea actually but I figured since I have a lot of more guitar ideas and I can't afford a billion guitars I might as well do this idea that I also really really am looking forward to doing on this guitar as well so it's gonna become more and more of a Frankenstein-ish guitar because what I feel like knowing today is testing if it's possible to do what I call X frets. So I'm gonna take out all of these frets and I'm gonna make frets go in excess. I think that can be really really cool. Very microtonal. And they're gonna intersect where the old frets were. So that's also gonna be interesting. This is all in my head. It's very cool. Uh, we're gonna see how it becomes in practice. I guess we're gonna consider this a prototype when we're done because I'm just gonna put, pull these out and put new frets in. So I'm not gonna do anything about the like the fact that there's gonna be cuts where the originals are because if it turns out that it's kind of cool then I'm gonna fill that in with noodles I guess is a thing <laughs> that people <laughs> fill in. I'm just gonna start doing it right away. There's no reason to think more when you can just start ploppity plopping. Maybe unscrew the neck though first. Woo. So when I have done the X frets, I'm actually gonna put it so it's stuck just for this video and then unscrew the two screws over here to make this work. But I, I'm not gonna combine it straight away in this video as far as like playing goes. For being a person with no correct tools whatsoever, I sure am proud of my solution orientedness. <laughs> Just a tiny screwdriver and then something to get a grip with. Yeah. Huh? I think that's probably as far as I need to go. Because it's always kind of cool to leave some of the original ones and get like a transition, I guess. Like I've never seen anybody do this or I've, nev I've never seen a guitar like this with x frets and that's what got me, made my mind go, ooh. <laughs> And that's a feeling that I really enjoy. I've seen other uh, fun approaches to frets, like those microtonal guitars and also the squiggly, squiggly ones, but never excess. And I think that it's gonna be very visually wow. Uh, and so if it's fun to play, I could really see it become like a thing. Uh, if anybody watching makes guitars, Maybe make a real one. We're gonna need a bunch of frets though. And thankfully I, I have that from when we made the video where we put as many frets as possible. We made a fretless or a full fret. Also, that's actually like making like this zigzag. It doesn't have to be super exact. It's more proof of concept. What, what I hide behind. <laughs> okay. Looks really dumb. <laughs> but kind of cool. But I think it's gonna be cool. With these, at least. I just gotta figure out, like, if I put the long ones all like that. Because then I need to cut off. Boom, boom, short. Snippity, snippity, snip. And then... Chicka, 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 chicka. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Whew, just gotta drink some water. Lovely, bub bubbly, lovely, lovely, bubbly. Hmm. Might be something in that combination of words. ASMR. 
I guess now, just doing this, I'm uh, gonna super glue them, some classic super glue. Okay. Janky AF, <laughs> but still. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna repeat that process over and over and over again for that amount of time. So yeah, let's get to work. It looks really crazy, right? I think it looks really cool. Medieval, kinda. Like this is the progress so far. So now I gotta wait for the glue to dry before I just string it. And I guess then we're gonna play it. It looks, yeah, I don't know. It's very special, very special looking. I guess the question is if it's gonna sound at all. At all. funky <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and not, not that weird but if you go with something like that yeah I don't know like the distance for for the string that's perfect to do like in these let's call it diamonds because why not that's not that weird but this one also good in the yeah but this one that's in the middle that's very microtonal uh, indeed. So that's kind of cool. Like doing G major. Na, 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 na. A minor kind of works. You can do a E minor like that. If you if you like those types of chords. Uh, however, I don't think that going with like a standard toning is how you're supposed to play this one. Honestly, that makes zero sense. I wish I had two me, so one had a regular one, one had this. It's definitely weird. It just sounds really crappy if you do like standard chords and stuff like that. Since it is microtonal, uh, we gotta f figure out like ways to, and maybe a, a special open tuning where it fits as well, to go like brown, wow, and then pick out. Also, effects, uh, of course, helps as well. 
But again, th this is like the proving the proof of concept uh, part of the video. So I think I'm just gonna experiment and we see what happens and what we can like find. That one had three, three different. So many notes.
Okay, so, uh... Kinda what I... Boop! Uh... I figured that the only way for me to approach this personally, because... Uh, like, I'm, I'm not even a very technical guitarist to begin with. I can do basic chords, but I'm an experimental person, so I thought... Let's get very experimental. So I brought out a tape loop. That's just a really slowed down pocket piano that I looped on this very old uh, tape uh, machine. So it's very broken sounding because it's really bad. <laughs> and then just because learning <laughs> how to approach this is hard. I think it's very possible to unlock the secrets of the X fret. I just don't really think that I'm the one who should take on this responsibility. <laughs> Somebody had to do it, <laughs> so that now nah, that's way too often me. But you yeah, know, no, it's it's a choice. It's my choice, and I'm proud. I'm very proud of you, little guitar. You're cool. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in uh, in another video. Because uh, I'm gonna have to sit here and noodle for a while and then figure out if there is if I can get something that I feel like ooh, this is really cool to base a song off of because I am very used to Western type stuff. Um, I, I rarely dabble in the microtonal to begin with. So uh, for me, it's so far away from my comfort zone. <laughs> like even just playing guitar is out of my comfort zone, but this, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Thank you, uh, have a great Sunday.